Good morning and welcome to Daystar TV. This is The Career Scoop and I am your lovely host Shekinah Eden Katua. And on to today's show, we are going to be talking about when I grow up versus reality. If you don't understand what I mean, when I grow up means when I grow up, I want to be a doctor. I want to be a nurse. I want to be a pilot. I want to be an engineer. Some of the things that we chose when we were kids, but growing up, we came to change our career choices due to some circumstances. So today we are going to be talking about the situations with a few students that are with me here on set. Karibuni sana. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Um, so if you don't mind, we shall start with you guys introducing yourself. We can start with you. Uh, I go by the name Cedric Mbindo, a.k.a. Jaquan, student here in this university. Amazing. amazing. Uh, my name is Lanoi Nairesia Leparako. And yes. Wow, I this names, <laughs> these names I am seeing here, they are just out of this world. Thank you so much for joining me. It's such a pleasure to have you here and I love interacting with students as well because we relate well with what happens on the ground, right? Yes, <laughs> yes. But before we start, we went outside to the streets. We were asking people a few questions about their career choices, what they wanted to be when they were growing up. So let's get to it. Hi. Hi. What did you want to be when you grew up? A gangster. A gangster? Yeah. Yes. I wanted to be an air hostess. Well, I wanted to be a neurologist. A pilot, definitely. Amazing. And what do you do now? Uh, co communication. Pursuing communication. I've been in electronic media. Currently, I'm doing mass communication. I'm doing psychology. Yeah. I'm doing communication. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In what area exactly? Electronic media. What uh, would you say made you change your thoughts? I used to live around uh, gangsters, so I used to think maybe this is the life because most of my friends, their fathers were part of it. So I wanted to grow up and tell those stories instead of being in them because I realized most of them were getting killed, some falling into drugs. So just tell the story instead of being involved to create awareness that this is an alternative life. I changed it because of, let's say my ambitions just changed as I grew up. I think it's um, the environment I live in. It made me think twice about what I wanted to do. So I just settled for psychology at the end of the day. I thought that it would be wise to first proceed and get a career first before I jump into being a pilot in aviation, okay? Because I feel like that's more of a profession than a career. So maybe eventually I'll look into that, you know. Okay. Amazing, thank you so much. Welcome. Okay. Welcome back our dear viewers to the Career Scoop. I am Shekina Aiden Katua. Seen a few clips. And me, the one that shocked me the most is the guy who said he wanted to be a gangster. Me, I don't know. What was your <laughs> view when you when you saw that? Like, what was your first view? Uh, my first view, I was not shocked. That's like number one. Really? Because my sister, my elder sister, grew up saying that she wants to be married off to a mafia family. Eh? So the whole gangster thing, just being on top there. Yeah. Black suits, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. men all over. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> Okay, a black wedding. <laughs> <laughs> a black wedding. Yeah. Yeah. So I was like, I think this is somebody who carried the same vision as my sister. Okay. What so about you, Lanoi? What was like your first take on it? Uh, honestly, I'm also with Cedric. I was not surprised at all. It's basically considering the fact that people want money, power, to be respected. I guess it comes with the whole gangster title. Yeah, and you've seen mm. in movies, mm -hmm. mafia families are always respected. Okay, that's true. Yeah. It's true. I feel, yeah. I feel like for him, he said that his family is what influenced his thoughts, you mm -hmm. see? And I don't know. Um, I feel like nowadays our, our families, our parents, and the people that we associate with, 
in that process, in that line of choosing a career, they influence uh, yani kids' career choices at a, at a tender age. I don't know if that has happened to you. Like, what did you want to do growing up? Uh, when I was young, I wanted to become a, um, a banker. So. Pilot, banker. Oh, you wanted uh, both? No, no. <laughs> I wanted to become a banker. Yes. Because mm-hmm. uh, my dad worked as a banker yeah. for a while. Mm-hmm. And I used to admire how organized he was, mm. how he used to carry himself, mm-hmm. how comfortable, mm. money, we live in a good place, yeah. nice, nice things. Mm-hmm. So I was like, that, that is what I want. That is what you wanted. Yes. And what are you doing currently? Currently, I'm a communication student. Oh, and to us. Majoring <laughs> in electronic media. Yes. Still based in university. Amazing. What about you, Lenoy? What did you want to do growing up? Well, when I was younger, I wanted to be an air hostess. Mm-hmm. But now, I am studying psychology. So, how, as in, what <laughs> made you change your perspective about the same? Um, I think it's the need or rather my desire for stability. I didn't want to always be traveling. I mean, yes, I love traveling and mm. everything. And I wanted to see the world when I wanted to be an air hostess. But now, I just want to stay in one place and, you know, relax. You just want know. to relax. I That's wanna like ch- your mentality yeah, right now. Yeah, and mm-hmm. help other people relax, you know? Yeah. yeah. Okay. What were you saying, Cedric? Family mentality. Family Settling mentality. So that is what family mentality means. To me, yes. What about you, Lano? You're a psychologist. You must know a little bit about that. Yeah, yeah. Family mentality, basically. Your environment can dictate how you think about things. And your family can also really help you see things in a clear and... Not, okay, not clear per se, but in a different view mm. from how other people will be seeing their families. Yeah. 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 And like growing up, like this question of what do you want to be? It's always asked by everyone around you. Mm-hmm. Your uncles, your parents, your shusho, your babu, you know, these people, even people from your churches, from wherever mm-hmm. you go, they keep asking you, what do you want to be when you grow up? And you know, as kids, we have various um, career choices that we choose at the time. Because um, at the time, we want to be pilots, we want to be doctors, those, um, those careers that have like a big title as well. So would you say that parents tend to influence what children choose for their careers? That's so true because immediately when I was done um, in my high school, my dad was like, you're going to study international relations in Strathmore University. Mm -hmm. I didn't have a voice. I I couldn't project what I really wanted. Yeah. Up there, he took me to Strathmore. I did a crashed course in IR. So I have a degree in IR. Wow. So it was so much rushed in that that is what I want for you. And when you have that, I'm going to help you get a job. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. I'm, like it was like a lot of things. And, I, and the other mentality is, ni mimi na lipa fees. Yeah. You see. Mm. And I choose what you want. And as your parent, I know best what's good for you. Yeah. So And then you're fresh from high school. So that mentality pins you down. Oh, it's my dad. Mm-hmm. But immediately when I was done with Strath- with Strathmore, um, I had one-on-one talks with my mom because she's a psychiatrist. And then she was like, go talk to him. Tell him what you really want. And I was like, IR is not my thing. Mm-hmm. This degree is yours. Even right now, it's in his room. Mm. I didn't like put it on myself. Mm. I was like, I want to do communication. Yeah. Because communication has really been... Um, Popping out in my life ever since I was young. Mm. Piang, 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 everywhere I talk to me. <laughs> You're a talkative person. I'm a very talkative person. Yes. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. And then it's even things that I wanted. Yeah. And I'm doing what I wanted to do. Amazing. What yeah. about you, Lenoy? Do you feel like parents influence your decisions? Personally, no. Because um, I have very supportive parents. Mm. I can say that they will... Direct, yes, but their way of direction is they'd want me to go through a whole career path that will enable me to stand on my own, mm-hmm. whereas I don't need to be employed. But other than that, they're, they're very supportive in everything. That's amazing. And um, what, okay, I feel like both of you are about to graduate, if I'm not wrong. <laughs> my graduation is in November. 
what this year you're about to graduate. Mm -hmm. And right now, I feel like you're doing courses that you feel very passionate about. But are you sure that this is the career choice you want? Or is this just a risk to find out what you really want? For me, it's not a risk. This is what I want. Mm -hmm. yeah. What about you, Lanon? It's not a risk at all. I'm very passionate about psychology. And I know that even if I won't get to do it in future, that I'm learning a lot right now. Mm. So it's an investment. Yeah, that's amazing. And I feel like as well as you've, you've said something about investment. And um, studying needs a lot of time. You know, yes. and um, you know, like the system we used to learn. I don't know whether you guys have done to eight four four system. Yes, you've done it. Yeah, you, you've watched. <laughs> hey, these are the rich kids. <laughs> these are a group of school mm -hmm. kids. Eh? <laughs> so, Lenoy, <laughs> as we've done eight four four system, yes. and this system is aligned to just upite. Mm -hmm. You get your grade mm -hmm. and you move on. It does not really direct you as a student to know which career choices you want. Would you say that this is something that also affected your decisions like after high school? Well, fortunately or unfortunately, I was not affected by 844. I went through the system, yes. But I feel like I was very stubborn. So it doesn't really matter what you're going to tell me. I already have my mindsets on what I want. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, but for some people, yes, it really affects them. It really affects them. What about you, Cedric? How was it in your system? Uh, my system, it was more of what are you interested in. Mm -hmm. You see, it's if you need nutrition, it's nutrition. Yeah. If you need uh, English writing, yes. stuff like that, it's that. Mm. Sports, it's that. So for me, it was more of um, concentrating in one area as a person. And through that, at least you already know or you already have a picture of what you want to do. That's amazing. Yeah. And if you don't mind me asking, um, yeah. um, what, like, right now you're doing a certain course line, right? Mm -hmm. But what do you want to be? Like, who do you want to be in the society? <laughs> I mean, like, mm -hmm. um, for example, personally, mm -hmm. I'm doing communication, electronic mm -hmm. media in specific. And I want to be a journalist. I want to be somebody that is very vocal in the society. I want to change people's perspectives. I want to change the mind that people always have, like the normal thinking of a human being. So what do you want to be? Um, I really want, uh, for my internship, I did as a media analyst. And as an analyst, I, I got to understand there are very many things that I usually miss Mm -hmm. And that entails also social media analysts. So we need to tell our parents, we need to tell the millennials that social media is not the thing that's ruining our kids. Mm. There is also the positive side of it. Mm. I need to be that uh, vocal point yes. to speak out and show these guys when I analyze this and this, this is a, these are the outcomes that come in, mm. not what our minds were curtailed to think yes. in a certain way. Mm. Or Mm. Before I finish, you're already a TV host. <laughs> oh my goodness. Please. Thank you so much. <laughs> what about you, Lanoi? What do you want to be? Um, I actually want to be a lot of things. Mm -hmm. Let's just start with the fact that I want to retire by 40. <laughs> Soft life. Soft life. So, um, if not a psychologist, yes? Okay, other than a psychologist, because I feel like I don't want to limit myself to one thing. I want to be a business lady I want to be. I want to be a mother. Okay. <laughs> That's really sweet. Calm down. A mother to cats. Okay, to cats and and dogs. Relax. What? I'm not, I'm not about that life. <laughs> now, thing is, um, as as I continue with my psychology career and everything, mm -hmm. I'd also want to do business. Yeah, I'd want to enter real estate, and invest in this and that. You know, here yeah. and there. Um, a bit if I, I'm able. You're you're really you're a very optimistic person. I yeah. feel like you you have that kind of energy. And I feel <laughs> like, like what would you tell somebody that isn't really sure? Because you, you look like somebody you've talked and you look like somebody who has already figured it out. Do you think you have figured it out? No, no, there is no figuring out 
Yeah, figuring anything out. Yeah. It's just you have to be flexible and open-minded to mm -hmm. opportunities that can come. Mm -hmm. So for anyone who isn't sure, take your time. Find out what you like to do, you know? Yeah. And there's no pressure that by 40 or by 50 you have to have figured it out. There are people who have made it even in their 60s, you know? Yeah. Maybe Raila, you know? You yeah. never know. <laughs> May come true. Probably. Let's yes. let's hope for the best on the on the ninth. But back to the topic. Um growing up, do you feel like there's some things that influenced or that pressured you to choose the course you wanted to do? Like um you said you wanted to be a pilot, a, a banker. <laughs> do you think it something pressured you to choose that certain job line? Yeah. And I said it before, it's my dad, his way of life, organization, like organize, how he used to organize his things, yeah. day to day activities, coming mm. home, how serious he is. Mm -hmm. I used to admire that. That's I felt like it was a little god that I was looking up and be like, Ooh, this is what I want. This is what I want. That's amazing. Yes, guys, what did you want to be growing up? What did you want to? Um, to have growing up. What kind of career did you choose growing up? These are some of the things that need to be talked about because it affects your choices in the future. Reality hits because these things are never really true. Just a 1% of people are the ones that choose the careers they said since they were young. But before we get to that, let's go for a break. <laughs> Welcome back, our dear viewers, to the Career Scoop. I am Shekinah Aiden Katua, and on set, I have Cedric and Lenoi, and we have elaborated a few things they have experienced personally as students, as young people, and as kids, right? Yes. <laughs> so we are about to wind up, and I'll just like to ask you just a final question, Cedric. Um, what would you tell somebody that's out there? And this person is very pressured with um, by their parents and is pressured to do a certain thing that they're not passionate about. How would you advise such a person? Um, number one is sit down, evaluate yourself, look at what you really want in the future. And nowadays, it's not like a tumble. Nowadays, you see how the economy is going. You see how people are living out of their passions and making millions and billions of dollars. So sit down, self-evaluate yourself, know what you want. Mm. And for our parents, because most of our parents are millennials, Yes. so you need to sit him down mm. and have that tough conversation. Mm -hmm. Dad, mom, this is what I want. 30 years, 40 years from now, she'll not be there. Yeah. It will be you on the yes. ground. Mm. And the world is not your mother. And it owes Very you true. nothing. Mm. So sit down, know what you want, and work towards that goal that yeah. you really want to attain. Yes. Yeah. And parents out there, please sit down and listen to your kids. Mm -hmm. Don't punish your kids. Yeah. Listen to them, give them what they want. Yeah. yeah. And be very supportive. Very true. Um, that is very, very deep, and we can just tell that that comes straight from the heart because I felt that personally. <laughs> I felt that. You felt it. Yeah. Yeah. So, Lanoi, your final remark question is you have supportive parents. Um, it seems like you figured things out, or maybe you understood where you're going, and you understood this is what I want, and you try and grab it as much as you can, right? And how would you advise somebody? This person knows where they want to go, but they're not confident enough to face that challenge that comes with it. How would you advise such a person? Um, okay. The first solution that I can give to anybody is pray fast. Pray about it. Because by the end, when you were being created, there was purpose that was given to you. And your career might be in line with your purpose. Because personally, mine is, I know. So pray about it, seek God's guidance. Then also, back to what Cedric said, have the tough conversation with the parents. Because at some point, they will understand. They want the best for you, and 
if they can see where your intention is coming from as well, then they'll be able to understand you because parents do love their kids. Very true. You guys are very candid, and I thank you so much for joining me for this show. It's such a pleasure to have you here, and I hope to have you again and again. <laughs> Thank you for being here. Yes, thank you so much. Karibuni. That was it for this show. Don't forget the necessary things that have been said today. And don't forget to map out your future is to map out your career. The decision is yours and that sticks to you. Guys, that was it. And I can't wait to meet up with you guys on the next show next week. Same time, same place.